Lord Jesus, what I want to do, I usually don't do it. And today, help me to search myself so that I can find that part of me that is supposed to serve you. Here is a man called Job in the word of God. When everything has happened to him, he began to have a discussion with himself and with God. He realized what he used to do in the olden days, he could not do it anymore. And he had to find out what is the problem. Most of us, demons have been cast out. They've been cast out. And the first time they were cast out, maybe you rolled on the floor. Maybe you rest outside. Maybe you fell, you know, you fell down. Maybe there was a vibration. And you kept on coming to the house of God. And we pray for you. And nothing happens. But you still feel something is not right. You have to talk to those members of your body. Because as you are there, you are not alone. There are members on that body. Another man, in the word of God, who saw this, was Apostle Paul. And we are going to talk about these two servants of God. Job 29. Verse 15, 16, and 20. 29. Job chapter 29. Job, chapter 29. I'm not going to be long, but I want you to pay attention. Because we have another service that we must deal with. If you found it, read it for us. Job chapter 29, verse 15, 16, and 20. Job chapter 29, verse 15 to 20. Verse 15, 16, and 20. 15. Nani nemesho etibubuze. Netinyao talabati shosha. Sixteen. Nangi muyise walabe swele. Nangi yitatela etulu. Nisho lisise inzaba. Yelo sihambi eveni. Twenty. Ingatimu loyami ya ushala insha nchalo gimi. Nebucho kibami, bushale bubu shanjalo, esake nisami. Amen. He says, if you read verse 1, in verse 1 he says, Moreover, Job continued his parable and said, Oh, that I were as in months past, as in the days when God preserved me. This man was away that things were no longer going right. Which most of us are failing to see. Because we are lazy to find out what is going wrong with us. Oh, that I wear as in months past. As in the days when God preserved me. And you jump to verse 15 where we're reading. I was eyes to the blind. And feed was I to the lame. I was a father to the poor. And the cause which I knew not, I 
searched out. What caused this situation now? Since now I'm not like in the day past. In the months past. In the years past. past. Whatever was a problem, I began to search it out. Which most Christians are failing to do. Most of us, we don't even know that we've got two natures in us. That is why we cannot separate worshipping God in spirit and in truth and worshipping God with our emotions or serving him we can't separate because we fail to search out. Are you hearing what I'm saying? This man with all that happened to him, he lost everything. God removed the protection. And Lucifer started to do things to him. He lost everything. His children, the riches he had. He said, I used to take care. I was, I was, you know, he's putting it in a very nice way. He said, I was, I was a father to the poor. And the cause which I knew not, I searched out. Because things were no longer the same. Let me tell Many people have been colonized by demons. I don't know if there's a clear interpretation or translation of that. That's why I see Jesus saying, I've come to set the captives free. Some of us are captives of our own thoughts. Captives of our minds. Captives of our own mouth. Captives of our tongues. There are members in our bodies that need the Holy Spirit to deal with. You need to search out why things are no longer the same. Yes, a demon has been cast out. He vibrated. Swing for an hour down here, but you still feel that there is something wrong. Things are not like they used to. What went wrong? It is your responsibility. As a child of God, last week I said, Take off a garment of evil words that weigh hard upon your life. Because Words have got power. And the man that when they release them, I'm not mad at them. And if they catch you with a curse, it will settle inside of you. So you need to take them off. Because that garment is heavy. So just like today, there are certain members in your body. There are certain things in your body that you need to know that are causing problems. Break out Puma of the captivity of the flesh. Or from the captivity of the flesh. Break out Puma. I believe the Holy Spirit is saying something. Because if last week we were taking, talking about taking off the garment of evil Today he's giving me a message that says you need to break out of that captivity. Break out of that cage where the flesh has locked you. Job after what you went through. You, you didn't go through anything. Compared to what Job went through. After everything has happened to him, he was able to see things are no longer the same. I searched out. I did everything good according to the word of God. I did everything good according to the principles of the word of God. And according to me as a human being, God should be favoring me. But you still are able to see as a 
a very sensitive person who is sensitive in the spirit there is something wrong I search out that something that is wrong so that I can break free from that captivity you know there are certain people when you come into their Office, office come into their house. That part of them that is supposed to welcome you. Amen. And the demon remains sitting on the chair. And the demon remains sitting on the chair. And the demon remains sitting on the chair. The real person. So it is important for you to search out if there is something wrong. We prayed for you. A demon left and it left in a violent way. And everybody was able to see that you were delivered. And it was declared. You are now set free. But you still can feel if you are sensitive in the spirit something wrong. Let's quickly go to Romans chapter 7. Read from verse 20. Romans chapter 7 verse 20 to 25. Romans chapter 7, verse 20. Now, if I do what I will not to do, it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells in me. Are you aware of that? We are going to know. That now I want to do something. But I find myself not doing it. Are you able to be aware that it is not you, but it is sin in you? There is a member in your body. Are you able to see that? We are going to Now, if I do what I would not, mm -hmm. it is no more I that do it, mm -hmm. but sin that dwelleth in me. But sin that dwelleth in me. Is there anybody who's not a sinner here? Raise your hand. Is there anybody who's not a sinner here? Don't ask you that. I'm born again. Washed by the blood. Yes. Yeah. Anybody who is not a sinner here. People are afraid to raise their hands. <laughs> I'm happy that you are aware of that fact. That as long as you are still in this body. Apostle Paul, Apostle Paul was aware of that. This was not a small boy. He was a great man of God. But if he could utter this kind of words, now if I do that, I would not. It is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Continue. 21. I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present in me. <laughs> your body, the members in your body are ruled by a certain law or certain laws. You are born again, yes. 
You are ruled by the Holy Spirit, isn't it? But is that part of you that is ruled by that? But your flesh. Apostle Paul is saying something here. Read that verse again. 22. For I delight in the law of God according to the inward man. 23. Read verse 21. 21. I find then a law that evil is present with, with me. The one who wills to do good. I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. Job that side is saying, Job and Uzi. In the months past, everything was okay. I was a father to the poor. I was this, I was that. I did this, I did that for God. Everything was right. But there is something I did not know. I searched out what that thing is. There is something that is troubling you. There is something that causes you to go against the will of God. Have you ever searched out what that thing is? Demons are so clever. They capitalize on your weakness. We can deliver you now. And they will namatel on your weakness. And they go by and go by until they get in back. And the word of God says, when you cast them out, when they come back, they come with a lot of them. Stronger than the first one that was there. That is why. Even after we've delivered you, no, or we prayed for you, no, you still find yourself back to square one. Jesus came to set the captives free. Some of you are a captive of your own mouth. No matter how many times you might have been delivered, you are a captive. Your mind is telling you whether you are nothing. You remain captive there. And God is saying to you that the God in you is saying to you you are going to be great. But there is this other part of you which is that sin that is ever present. It's telling you something else that you are nothing. Colonized by your own demons. They are not there anymore. You know, countries that have been colonized, they'll understand how colonizers operate. But even when they are not there, you still speak their language. You still dress like them. You still eat the food they, they taught you to eat. The demon is out. Let me the demon. There is that voice after you're born again. You must understand. The moment you say, I'm born again now, that slate has been wrapped as a new slate. What brings back the rubbish that was taken out? He's saying, But I see another law in my members. 
I delight in the law of God. But I see another law in my members. But I see another law in my members warring against the law of my mind. Warring against that voice of God inside of me. And bringing me into captivity to the law of sin which is in my members. Members of your body. The members of your body. I don't know which part of your body is causing you to sin. I don't know. You know. But after you have cast out, a demon has been cast out. That member of your body is ruled by this law of sin that Apostle Paul is talking about. And opens another door. A whole crowd, army of demons come back. And this time to destroy. Why can't you search out? Why you must show? I was delivered. I was set free. What is this thing that is still holding me captivity? So that you can start to fight it. Pray against it. I don't know if you are getting me. Are you, are you getting me? Are you, are you, do you understand what I'm talking about? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. It's glory to God. Because which means the word of God is doing something. Apostle Paul said, Oh wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? That's going to sweat it in. Mm -hmm. How many of you know that there are members in their bodies that are them to sleep? So today as we are going to pray, that member of your body, it must receive that fire. You must release fire upon it until it is put under subjection. Is the woman the same apostle Paul? The apostle Paul said, I put this flesh under subjection. Because if you don't do that, you are going to suffer. The voice of God that is inside of you because you are born again, you are a child of God, is saying something. But this member. In your body is talking another language. It is your duty to say, You demon. Today, I release myself. You don't have to wait for a certain prophet from anywhere. Or another apostle from anywhere. To deliver you. Until you understand this message today, you will go back to square one. How many times were you delivered? How many times did we pray for you? But until you realize that you need to search, why are you being brought back to zero? Where you started? Apostle Paul said, Who will save me? Who will deliver me from this body of death? Body of death. That's why Jesus somewhere said, if your eyes give you problems, call. Even though he 
is not saying literally, God, your eye out. No man was sure what's he, but I would to call him. That illustration I gave earlier. No one was it of Kale, no must go there with you. That demons are very clever. Because their father is very cunning. They will come out, yes. But they know we have left a trace. There is a weakness there. Wherever they are sitting, they are looking at you. Still eating the same way that the demon taught you to eat. Still praying the same way that the demons were allowing you to pray. The demons can allow you to pray. Because they know they are making you to pray amiss. The demons can take you to a wrong church. Where they know they will not be cast out. They are very clever. They don't make you stay at home unless you think that no Satan, no end of the They will pick you and put you in a place where they know nothing will happen to us. We will rejoice here. So, what makes you happy is that I am going to church. So today, your prayer should be release me. Release this member of my body. That member of your body will send you to hell. Because it's the one that is causing you to be at loggerheads with the divine you. And you have you ever seen where you pray because a demon wants you to pray? Where you fast because a demon wants you to fast. Where you leave your job because a demon wants you to leave your job and think that it is God. Very clever. So as a child of God, that's why Jesus said you need to be as wise as a serpent. Search, search the matter. Why? Why? Who thinks this way? Why did not you have the other trouble? I'm supposed to be hearing from God. I'm supposed to be declaring things and they come to pass. I'm supposed to calm the situation in my house. I'm supposed to be the light. Not light under the table, but a light that stays on top of a pedestal put by God. Remember the level and the level of heaven. And when you are a true light, you will also be an envy to your family, your own family. Because the light separates. And when God has picked you within that family, everybody, even in your family, will see that we are carrying light, but this one. So today, I want you as we are going to pray, like I said, I don't want to keep you long. There is a battle in your body. There are members that are contradicting you, that are causing you to think small of yourself. Because the enemy does not want to see you rising. It doesn't. The voice of God is saying to you, you are born to be a billionaire. And this other voice, or this other member in your body, is telling you, you are too small to be done that. So today, I want you to break free from that captivity. Your mind must be free deep from that captivity. Because, because 
members of your body like your mind might be the cause why there is no change in your life. Your mind has been put into captivity. I don't know. Let me, let me pause and allow you to, to say something from what you just said now. Before I continue. Anyone? So you did not hear anything. Some of you, the reason why you are where you are is because you love comfort. You don't want to leave your place of comfort. Because there is a member in your body telling you if you dare leave this place, it's all finished. Because of the the message that went into my mind or through my ear. 
So me I realized the good thing and I kept it vele because of what they have over but figure don't doing that avail when I get called then because of the word that went into my ears and my thoughts, I now realize that I'm into captivity through my ears, from what I hear throughout. There's another hand. As for me, my mouth causes me to do certain things. Just Sometimes you do certain things um, without realizing that you were gossiping and then thinking you were just saying something. But when I sit back, I realize that there is something that is not right. Then when I sit back, then I realize that there is something that I have spoken through my mouth which was not correct. From that moment, I will never have peace. I would like God to help me in my speech, even my listening skills. Because most of the time when you listen or hear certain uh, things that have been said, they, 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 they tend to destroy you. So today I ask that God should help me. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There's a scripture what I've learned today. Specific to our apostle. Is a bit different from other preachers of the world. Because he is not using a pulpit to beat the church members. He is using it to serve, to feed the people. Amen. 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 Let me go what you are saying. Let me go to what you are saying. He said that if ever the, the sermon is hammering you, it's not what that is not my target, but my target is to bring that people to Jesus. Amen. Amen. So I have learned that I have learned that I have learned that I have learned that I I have learned that I Go and feed my my sheep. Again, Jesus came to Peter and said, Peter, do you still love me? Yes, so Atala Abuyaka Petro Abuanzaranda Shanake. I said, Go and feed my lamb. What to get Jesus Petro to Hamba? We will find that in Timbutami. You see. You know, he, he said three things, but two of them, he says, go and feed, go and feed, go and feed. So I just want to say thank you to our Baba for not beating us, but saving the church. Amen. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. 
Especially verse 21. That when I really want to do right, something came up. Which is sin. Now I know what sin is part of my body. It's inside of me. I need to fight that this thing must come out of my life. Sometimes God speaks to us, but as God understands us, something. Most of the time, when God is saying something, we are not realizing what God is saying into our lives. Every day when I pray, I say, God, forgive my sins. Oh, some oh. of the things I'm doing because I don't like to do it. I always, I was saying, sharing with another lady yesterday, <coughs> saying to her uh, that my prayer point daily is that God forgive me my sins. The things that is not like is going to speak about it. So, today God has revealed some of the things that we can know. We have to fight with the fish that are living inside of us. Today he has really taught us that there are certain things that we need to fight out of our lives so that we can live a free life. Amen. And also I want to say we thank God for the servant of God that he has blessed us with. And sometimes we are shy and we are but at times we, we as we listening to him speaking to us, it feels like he's very harsh to us, but we are really being taught something. Like when he mentioned earlier to say, when the word of God is, when you think that I am talking to you, it is God speaking to you. So everything that is fighting against the will of God inside of me today, it must be delivered. Good again, I, I, my prayer is that God should help me with younger evil and lose her in young Namuta in poor Mega Gamadina Chase. Amen. Hallelujah. Maybe there's somebody, you're not leaving anyone out.